Hello YouTubers, diecast collectors, it's Jared White, the J-Man 6, 3, and after today I finally have my camera back, and uh, we are making some videos again, so that is some good news, and today I have a review for you of the Auto World Legends of the Quarter Mile Shirley Cha-Cha Muldowney's Mustang. I ordered this car a while ago. And I've had it for a long time now, and I've been meaning to get this car out, to bust this car out, and make a video of it. And uh, this car is by Auto World. This is the box art right here that I am showing you. Um, it's really nice car. Um, unfortunately, when I got this car shipped to me, the box was slightly damaged. There was a little bit of a crease in the bottom. There was a fuel line that had popped off this car, and a tire had popped off, and I had my friend Don fix it, and he did an excellent job on it, so I've been meaning to show this car. So anyway, this is the box art. It is a really nice model. Um, authentic replica, extreme detail, serialized chassis in 1 18th scale. Detailed plastic body, plumbed and wired engines. This car has literally everything you could want in a 118th scale funny car replica. It is beautiful. It is awesome. Here's the back if you want to pause and read that little section right there. Anyway. But very cool. Anyway, here's more of the pictures of the car right here. It's a very famous funny car. Very, very cool stuff. Anyway, just really awesome. Anyway, so now I'm going to show you the car. Now, I got to be careful with this because this is a, what we call a flopper funny car, and the body just likes to flip up on you. Now, the front here has some really nice, the body is made out of plastic, has some very nice detailing on it. Keith Black Racing Engines, Amale, Custom Headers, very cool graphics. On the back here it says Bounty Huntress, right here, Race Master Tires, very well done. Here's the front end, right here, alright, and panning down the top of this car, very beautiful replica very nice body even though the box was damaged and shipping it still in very good shape and there's the little coins right there very cool car bounty huntress just a very nicely detailed body I mean you can tell that it's supposed to be a funny car because there's no plastic headlights or anything it's just a it's just got a flat front end, so it's made to be like a funny car, pretty much. But there's the stripes on it. There's the rear parachute pull cord. Alright, so that is everything on the outside. And there's really not much to show with the body, but it's a really nicely detailed body. Now if you want, you can actually flip the body upward. And I am actually going to pull out these parachute cords. And I'm going to slide this up. And all you got to do, if you want to get the body off of the car, is there's a hinge at the back that you can slide and twist. Hold on. I'm trying to get it up. I it's a lot of finagling to get it off of there. I'm trying to get it. It is very temperamental. You gotta be very careful with the singe. I'm trying to do it just so carefully. Anyway, I don't want to mess with it too much, but I'm just gonna leave the body on here but it's very nicely detailed you can tell the motor was really done very well with all the plumbing and wiring the front end actually steers but the steering wheel does not steer with it 
Hang on a second here. I think I got it. There we go. I finally got the body off. Okay, so anyway. Alrighty, I finally got the body off of this car. Alright, there's the motor. Very well detailed. And it's a very heavy replica because the uh, chassis are actually made out of die cast metal. But the motor really speaks for itself. The detailing on it is very extensive. Very well done. Actually, I believe the fuel line that broke off that I had Don fix was this one right here leading upward to the motor. But he did a very good job. There's no glue spots or anything. He did a very good job on it. But anyway, front end steers. Like I said, just very well done. And then there's seat belts inside of the car. It's a very nice model. And uh, yeah, and if you look out back, there's actual cabled in brake lines. So it's very well done. Yep, pretty nice replica. I have got to say, very good replica. And it actually has disc brakes in the back. And there's no actual brakes in the front. It's known as a suicide front end. Alright, so now I'm going to put the body back on the car. Let's see if I can slide it in here and be careful trying to get it down onto the blower here. I'm just going to cable the parachute cord back in there. There we are. And if you want, you can take the included brace and you can, um, should I didn't have this bag to unwrap for the review. Anyway, this is the brace and you can just display it with the brace under it, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, this is the uh, little certificate of authenticity it comes with. If you want to pause and read what that says right there, you can, but it actually comes with a certificate of authenticity. Anyway, this all in all is a very nice replica. I give this model a full 10 out of 10. It is very extensively well done and I love, love, love this model. So all in all, I'm very pleased. And also if you look inside here, there are fire extinguishers. So they did a very good job on this model. Um, Auto World Legends of the Quarter Mile, this is a series that if you like funny cars and you like these dragsters of a bygone era, you definitely need to look into getting a couple of these. Um, they are super nice. Um, I want to get um, Connie Kalita's Bounty Hunter to go along with this model. Um, I would like to get Don Perdome's Snake uh, Cuda Dragster that they do, and maybe the Hawaiian and... Um, I'm trying to think. There are definitely a couple I wouldn't mind getting in this series that are a little cheaper. Um, Jungle Jim's car would be cool, but of course that one's expensive. Oh shoot, the camera fell. Whoops. Sorry about that. My tripod's getting a little wobbly now. Um, I didn't mean for that to happen. But um, anyway, there's definitely a couple cars I want to get in this series. But anyway guys, I'm Jared White, the J-Man 6 Three, if it has to do with diecast, it has to be the J-Man 63. Keep showing me love and subs, guys. Have a good one. Bye.